Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope everyone is fine. Me alhamdulillah, I'm okay. Today I would like to show you a video, a shocking video to be honest, because uh, I don't know if you know or if you saw before, um, in Brazil um, they promoted uh, uh, during the carnival uh, shaitan, so like uh, the fire is a beautiful place. Uh, and also, uh, after this event, uh, something is happened, uh, especially in Brazil, um, like a very bad situation in the country, uh, very shock, very shocking uh, situation. So uh, after the video, then I will do the comment. Let's watch together. Why are they worshipping the Satan? How does Satan fool and play with their minds? We will be going into the details of these questions, but before that, here is something for you to check out. They did not know it was their last Ramadan. So what excuse do we have now to not learn the book of Allah? This Ramadan, learn all the stories from Quran. Copies are limited, so order yours now. Behaviors and patterns of Abrahamic nations are changing for the worst ever. That we are forced to believe that the shaitan is surely using some cunning ways to play with our minds. In 2019, a huge carnival took place in Brazil where millions were spent. It was a national level festival and guess what was the theme of the carnival? It was satanic worship. It might sound unbelievable because who would be so disrespectful to celebrate the devil and the satan? But brothers and sisters, it turns out people do find it cool and worthy to have a whole festival themed around the shaitan, the devil. It is also important to note here that Brazil is a very poor country, but they still find it important to spend millions on a carnival that makes fun of religions, especially the Abrahamic ones, and celebrate and promote shaitan. Also a major part of Brazil's population is Christian. They even have a statue of Hazrat Isa mounted on one of the highest hills in the country. But even that did not stop them. Wait till you hear about the details of what happened at the carnival. The main event portrayed a whole line of devils and jinns that were made in the form of red burning statues. It was actually a picture of hell. The theme implied that all the Christians and Muslims will go into the Jahannam, the hell, and there will live with all the Satans. Even Jesus will be there and there is no other concept of paradise or Jannat. Then they brought on the stage a man and a woman depicting Adam and Eve. Na'udhu Billah they were naked and wearing weird satanic costumes. Adam and Eve could be seen dancing in a cage and huge apples surrounded them. Now in Christianity and in the Bible, the fruit that Hazrat Adam and Hazrat Awa salam eight was apple. However, the exact fruit has not been mentioned in the Quran. There was a huge portrayal of a snake with a satanic figure on its head. And this referred to their hero who had brought the fruit inside the Garden of Eden. The whole point of this carnival was to glorify all satanic acts, sins and figures ever discussed in the religion. The festival went on for several days and every day they brought a new act. One of the days they went as far as showing Jesus Hazrat Isa as a weak figure. He was shown fighting with the strong devils who killed him in no time. And there Jesus dies in humiliation after which the act implied that he was nothing special nor he was a prophet. He was just a human who pretended to be the messenger of Allah and the advocate of good deeds and he will never come back. And then there was a grand procession with the biggest monument of the devil, the Satan, who was sitting on the throne. And he was surrounded by all his fellow devils and Satans. These were the Satans that were the gods and masters of those who contact with black magic for their evil motives. That's why black magic is considered a severe form of shirk in Islam and strictly prohibited in Christianity as well. The fight between Hazrat Mikhail and the Satan was also one of the topics and obviously they made the shaitan win the battle. This battle has a mention in the Bible but not in the Quran 
so we cannot vouch for how true it is. But even in the Bible, it was Hazrat Mikhail, the strongest of the four angels, who defeated the shaitan. It exhausts our thinking and stuns our mind. When we think that why would these people promote and celebrate shaitan, there is only one answer. They have been blindfolded. They cannot judge the difference between the right and the wrong. And it is most probably the satanic powers that are manipulating these people into believing in shaitan more than in the Almighty Allah, the one creator. Brothers and sisters, do you want to know what happened to these people after they commenced such severe sins and shirk? Stay tuned. We will be talking about that in the next video. Uh, to be honest, uh, they spent a lot of money for all this carnival just for to represent uh, Shaitan. So, like you, like we saw, uh, we can see a, a status, uh, different status. So, uh, Shaitan, uh, snakes. Um, uh, I don't know um, with uh, Adam and Eva. Uh, then we saw, uh, I don't know, uh, Jesus, so Isa, uh, killed uh, um, by demons. And uh, anyway, like everything is look like beautiful. Astaghfirullah. So why they can promote shaitan and all these bad things? Why? Why do you think they do this? Why the people spend a lot of money for to do bad things? So you can see a lot of women and men without the clubs, uh, then they drink alcohol, uh, everything is a uh, very haram. Uh, so why do they use the same money for good things? So it's no sense. So why they do this? So uh, we don't know why they do this because they don't know anymore the good things or the bad things. So um, and like you see in the next video, um, it's something is, is happening very bad in the in after a few days or weeks and uh, so too much rain too too much uh, disaster in the city many people lose the the house every everything um 
everything. So uh, it look like God punished uh, Brazil for for the carnival. We need to worry about all this this situation because who live there uh, is very bad, especially for the kids, for the children, uh, who look at all these all these bad things. So. Uh, we need to pray for all the Muslim in that country, especially because it's, it's very, very difficult to uh, to see and uh, to uh, to live all this situation. So let's pray for them. Uh, let's pray for everyone, for all the world, because to be honest, the world is finished because we can see too many things around and uh, our stuff for Allah very bad. So um, I hope also for our kids, for our children, uh, to be safe and to be in the good way uh, so I hope so, to, to see you soon inshallah uh, in the next video assalamu alaikum